What should I clean before I start cooking? The short answer is anything that touches food. Anything could be carrying bacteria. Start with your hands. Hands carry bacteria. Scrub them before and after you handle food, garbage, pets, or anything that is not food. Clean hands could prevent almost half our cases of foodborne illness. Use hot water, scrub past your wrists, get under the nails, then rinse well and dry with a paper towel or a clean cloth towel. Don't smoke while shopping or cooking. Fingers that touch lips and then touch food will carry bacteria. Don't fix your hair or scratch that itch either. You can carry bacteria from hair or skin into the food. Next, at the grocery store, use bags for fresh produce to keep it separate from boxes, cans, and fresh meats. Put fresh meat, seafood, and poultry into plastic bags as well so they don't drip. If you use reusable shopping bags, take several into the store. Use one for dry goods, one for produce, and another one for fresh meats. Keep an eye on the cleanliness of your shopping bags and wash them any time they show signs of stain. Hopefully you carry insulated bags or coolers to bring cold foods home from the store. Be sure they get cleaned often. Then clean counters before you get the food out of the bags. Putting food on dirty counters is a bad idea. Use hot soapy water a clean dishcloth or a paper towel and rinse well. Let it dry naturally and do it often. If any juices drip or spill while you're unloading and storing your purchases, be sure to wipe them up immediately. There's no need to grow more bacteria before you start cooking. So in short, anything that touches food needs to be clean when you use it. Don't cut corners. For more fast answers to safe food questions, check out our other FAQs on our website, hillsborough.ifas.ufl.edu, and search on safe food.